Hi, we're back. <laughs> it is Tuesday, January 30th of 2024, and my name's Amy. Hi, this is Renewing Stitches, and it's good to see you again or for the first time. I'm glad you're here. Uh, glad to be talking cross stitch. This is a YouTube channel about cross stitch, and let's get started. Um, let's see. It is a lovely 70 degree day here, not a cloud in the sky. Birds are out, um, it's drying up. We had a lot of rain last week and it's drying up. We're gonna have some more soon, but this is nice. I, I really wanna get started on the garden, but I can't, it's January. <laughs> this is a fall, spring. We'll probably have something cold. I put anything in the ground. It'll probably get cold in February and kill it. So I'm going to wait and just let the let the ground rest. So what have I been doing this week? I have been stitching and crocheting and um, doing a variety of things, but mostly those in the downtime. Um, family has been good. Um just a, a regular week with school and piano and um, all those things. I did get to see my local, I guess. It's my in real life, IRL, in real life Stitchy Friends yesterday. And we had so fun. It seemed like the time went so fast. We were there, well, I had to step out for a little bit, but we were there for... Um, three hours I guess and it just seemed like maybe 10 minutes but it was so lovely to see them hi y'all <laughs> um anyway I want to start out by saying thank you to all of y'all um, that have left comments um all of you the, everyone that has liked and subscribed even viewed just anything if you have taken your time to watch me uh talk about a hobby that I love, then thank you. I'm assuming that you love it and enjoy it also. <laughs> but I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Um, today I have previous finishes in the gift uh, area and then I have current FFOs that I... it was a finish Friday on a Sunday. <laughs> and so I have several of those and then I have a couple of whips, a couple of new starts, and plans, plans, loose plans, but plans. So let's go ahead and go. I, oh, let me just show you the crochet and get it out of the way. I spent a good chunk of time um, crocheting my uh, back um, a couple of years ago. I did, um, I did a whole bunch of hot pads and I just have a couple here. These are my my personal ones, all of the ones that I did this past week are gone to their new homes. But you know, there it's just a, a single crochet, um, go round and round in a circle and it folds in on itself. So I do these, I mean, it takes mm, maybe an hour, hour and a half. And I can, you know, you just, you really don't have to think about it. I get a cramp sometimes, so I have to put it down, but, and there's varying sizes. You can make a, I don't have one here. I do the, um, um, cup holder size or hot pad size or even bigger. I did a bigger one, several bigger ones for um, just to, not not to grab, I guess you can use them to grab hot things out of the oven, but uh, just to lay it on the counter. Really super thick. Anyway, I did several of these. Um, my aunt, my three aunts, I did them for my three aunts. Um, my mom's going to go see them next next week so I have those with her ready to go so I spent time on that and then I put in a couple of rows on my afghan um I need to spend some time weaving in some ends but oh here we are um so I this is just a granny granny stripe a granny square stripe a granny square stripe that's not right granny stripe so this is it I'm just putting in a row or two as I get a chance. It's just going to be a lap quilt. Um, once it's done, I'll just put it in a pile and um, 
give it to, we, uh, my mom crochets a lot for uh, the local nursing homes with her church. And so um, I just put it in a pile and send it with them. But um, this is, this is that one. And it's, it's just a mix of, I don't know what it is, acrylic mix. I'm just going through my stash and pulling colors together that I think look good. That's it. Working on that. I needed to do those pot holders because my mom was going to see my aunts next week and she needed them this past weekend. So I needed to get that done, but I really wanted to crochet a little bit more. So I put some time in on the, on the afghan. Um, now, gifts. These are things in my home that have been gifted to me from my cross-stitch friends. The first one I'm wearing. Um, when I was working, um, when a friend of mine and I would stitch. It was before I was married, before before kids, before, I mean, I was just working. And she was working, and so we would stitch uh, on the weekends. Or maybe some one evening, but usually, I think it was on a Saturday or Sunday. And we would turn on a hockey game, or we would turn on... Um, classic rock and we would just stitch and talk or not talk just be it was so lovely and she was I had another stitching friend that worked with us but she was um, uh, she didn't stitch a lot with us it was just my friend and I and so we would also go to hockey games and uh, baseball games um, talk about football all the things sports friend cross stitch friend awesome so she made me, and this shirt is older than my marriage, <laughs> older than my kids, um, but it's still in great shape, and I love it. It is, she designed it, it's just, it's the Stars, and the, their logo, the Stars hockey team, Dallas Stars, um, their logo has the star as the A, and so she created this for me, and I wear it. I don't wear it all the time, because I don't want to wear it out, but... Um, I mean, it's well, a good 20 years old. 20 years old. <laughs> do y'all have clothes that are that old? <laughs> I do. I love it. I love it. And it, if ever I get a hole in it, I'm going to cut this out and um, sew it on a, I mean, I'll probably take it in a circle, do it on an oval maybe, and sew it onto another sweatshirt and wear it some more because it just is that good. So. That same friend made, where did it go? I had cats at the time, two cats, and she stitched this for me. And I don't know the pattern. Um, I'm guessing it's 14, it may be 16 count. She stitched it and framed it for me. And when I got married and we moved, we built, no, we moved down here, right? I don't remember if it was right after I got married or right, anyway, she did this. It was, it was when I got married, we moved over here. So she did that and I, again, I don't know the the pattern name but very special this is in my living room and the other one the cat one is in here and then I have a couple of friends that are um, the friend that stitched these is in my um, stitchy group and these other are also in my stitchy group I had one stitch let me see as for me and my house we will serve the Lord Joshua 2415, I should know that. Love it. Uh-oh, hair, sorry. <laughs> and back. And other friend. See, stitchy friends are really the best friends. This was from another friend. It's on a little treasure chest. It's 
so sweet. Ah, great idea. I don't know if that's backwards or not, but it says friend. You can see that. But to me, it says it looks backwards. Anyway, so sweet. And then, and I have more gifts, but they come out in season. So this is what I have right now, right now. And as they come out, then I'll, I'll show them to you. And then another one that I put in here that I keep in here is from um, a previous Bible study leader. She also stitched. She did a lot of things, but she also stitched. And when she was really busy with um, grandkids and she was moving at the time and she stitched this for me and that she took the time to stitch it for me. So it just is real special. These all are so special because, you know, as stitchers, we know the time and the, the, that it takes to put into it and the thought behind it. And we, it's just very, very special. It says the grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord stands forever. Yeah, will stand forever. Shall stand. If I could read it the right way and not backwards. <laughs> oh. Sweet, sweet friends. So those are my previous, no, those are gifted finishes. And so next, I want to show you some of the gifts that I've finished recently and have fully finished as part of the Finish Friday on Sunday. Let's see. And then I have one that's not a gift. Um, oh, two that's not a gift. This one is for my sister. You saw this last week when I uh, completed the chart and... Was it last week that I finished it? Anyway, um, this is the chart from January, February of 1985. The Just Cross Stitch, January, February 1985. And I had made some changes. I did Sisters Wasn't There and There Was a Roof, but I took that off, put Sisters, put our initials in, changed the colors, and I did it the way that Karen, the Stitching Owl, does hers. So on the back, um, did I sew it? No. It's just the folds. You sew it with the folds. And then you're able to stuff it. And I sewed it shut and put a little button there. So this will go in my sister's dough bowl. Get my fingers out of the way. And I was thinking about ruching. And I looked in my ribbon stash after I had already made a trip to Hobby Lobby and I didn't have the color that would go with this. So I may just leave it. Um, I have some fuzzy yarn that I might use, but really I think for my sister's um, house taste and house decorating, this is this is good. She does like the, the um, I guess, is, is it prim? It's not really prim because they're bright. Or colors. I don't know. But just real... Um, anyway, it's that word that I can't think of, but this will be good in her double. She'll love it. And then the other gift is for my mom, because I can't take one and not have one for the other. So this is the um, freebie from By the Bay Needle Art. This is Love is the Key, and I did this 4 over 2 on 14 count. Ada that I dyed. I did like a long bath in a pink rip dye. And then this is the fabric that I have for the back. And my friend Lynn is with me. Isn't she sweet? Here we go. Oh, there we go. You can see it better. Look at that. This is the fabric. And I on this one I did cut the little slit there. And then put a piece of felt, a long piece of felt, because I accidentally cut a little further than <laughs> necessary. And then just put a little pink ribbon there. It'll be fine. She'll love it. So. That's that one. So those are the two gifts. So I'm excited about that. And then I finished this one. This was the other uh, chart that I finished 
last week. The Somebody Stole My Heart from Gene Farish. This was in the January, February 85 Just Cross Stitch also with this one. These two are from the same magazine. January, February Just Cross Stitch 1985. Somebody Stole My Heart. Now I have some pink fuzzy ribbon. I just haven't put it on there yet. This one will stay in my dough bowl. I did, I finished it the same way I did the other one so you can see the, you just sew them together and then you can stuff it this way and get your corners done. Oh, such a great idea. So those were those finishes. I did some other finishing that was in on top of my sewing machine. But then I also found um, this Santa from the Prey Schooler, this book. Prey Schooler, St. Nicholas. I did this one, but made some changes. This is it. I put the staff in instead of the lantern because I wanted the bag to be bigger. So, and I'd already done the border. It's lovely. I will just keep it in my bowl. Or I may do a um, hook and put it on the tree somehow. And it's just with the light green gray background and felt and the tree button. So that's that. And then the nose now. The last finish, yay, is uh, coffee from Rosewood Manor. I stitched this, or I started it with, um, well, Beth didn't start this pattern, but Beth, the set steadfast stitcher, um, had her 60th birthday last year, and for her celebration, or for her stitch along, her birthday stitch along, she picked any, she said any Rosewood Manor, and this is the one I chose, so I was stitching along with her, and I finished it, and a hoop, I'm so excited, oh, hmm, where's my board? This is a um, 28 count even weave that I quick dipped in the same pink. So the pink that I did this in, same color, same time, same everything. This is a bath and this is a quick dip. This piece of fabric is the other, this one, this one is the other half of this project. I was working on this and then I found this and this pattern and I wanted to stitch it. So I just added it. I had enough to, to do both. So I did this one. Um, so fun. And I finished it with just the fabric from the back of this. And some more. And it's going to be on my wall. I'm not really concerned about the edges because um, it'll be hanging on the wall. And I'm going to put it right there. So you'll see that next week. So excited. So excited. Yay. Those are finishes. Fully finished. Now I had no finishes that aren't FFO'd. Um, I did have some new starts. What are we on? Almost 20 minutes. Okay. New starts. For um, my whip go, one of my whip go calls for January was, um, so on my, where's my whip go board? Where are you? Hmm. My whip go board. Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. So my whip go board is very, um, it's just drawn, hand drawn. This is it. So I jumbled up the numbers, randomly put them in, and with every number I have an, a designer. I have a designer uh, for every number, and I have either charts that I paid for or freebies with all these designers. There's not a duplicate. So the one, this one is for 22, was Cottage Garden. And uh, I've both since then, both since last time, started both. Um, and then these are the new calls, 3 and 24, and I'll talk about that in plans. But uh, for Cottage Garden, I um, 
had a songbird. And I thought, oh, that'd be fun. Cause the, and then the song, um, Do You Want to Build a Snowman, was in my head. And I kept thinking, do you want to stitch a songbird? Do you want to stitch a songbird? And I can't. I tried these last couple of days to come up with lyrics for Do You Want to Stitch a Songbird? In the tune of Do You Want to Build a Snowman? But I'm not that creative. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing because I don't need to sing anyway. But um, I do have a joyful noise for the Lord. But for the general public, it's not. <laughs> it may not be that joyful. Anyway, this is the bird that I picked forever and ever and so many of you have commented and talked um, talked about which bird you're doing. This is the only songbird I have from Cottage Garden and I've seen um, uh, Contented Needleworker Kim has finished her portion of the songbird she's doing. Um, the uh, Somebody said they were doing the Faith one. And I think, oh, I just want to do all of them now. So after I get this one done, I will pick another one and do. And this is the first in the series. There's 12 in the series. Um, I may do them in order. I may mix it up. I don't know. Laura Stitching by the Shore is doing a cottage garden bird, but it's not a songbird. So any any bird, I mean every, and I said this last time, any, all birds have a song. It may be a squawk. It may be a squeak, but it's a song. It's their song. So just stitch a bird. Um, if you have a cottage garden, start it, finish it, work on it. Great. If you have a bird that you want to stitch on and just think of stitching with us all, excellent. That's lovely too. So just um, stitch on your birds and let me know what you're working on. It's been really neat. And I just, I really, I really, and then they have a new one. Have y'all seen the new, um, they're putting out a new songbird something with friends and it's a big tree and it has a birds all in it and on the ground. Oh, that one is, that one's coming up. Um, oh, Patchy Pony's doing one too. <laughs> so fun. Anyway, that was all that. Here's my start. <laughs> Here's my start. And it's still in the hoop because I want to get back to it this afternoon. I am on the Cardinal. This, okay, so I called an audible. I had picked out the Bestitch Me, Not Another Sampler as my, my fabric. And I really, that day I thought, um, I really want a blue. So I changed it. This is a, a blue from, I couldn't find a tag. Uh, and I don't think I dyed it. It might be from Hobby Lobby. Can you see the blue? I love it. Love it. This is the bottom of the L. And I started in the middle so I would make sure I had it centered and, and enough fabric to go all the way around. So then I'll go up. And this is great for fill-in stitching for piano lessons or zooms. So this is, I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave this fill in and just start going up. I think I may do that. Because then I can save this for a Zoom or for piano lessons or for um, stitchy meetings, stitchy get-togethers. I think I'll do that. But This is a um, 20 count? I think so. I think it's a 20 count. Did I have anything else to say about it? No. The hashtag is, do you want to stitch a songbird? Um, and I put it on Instagram. So you, at the beginning, I think it was the second video, maybe the first video. Um, when I created the floss tube and the channel, I, it took me a while to move the other, the floss tube name that I was under to move all my favorites and all my um, subscribing, the people I subscribe to, to the new one. Um, and because I wanted to use this as the one that I go to all the time. So I could uh, respond and 
um, comment and all those things with this channel and ever it would just be all consistent. I'm doing that with Instagram also. So I have a Renewing Stitches Instagram and it's currently, it's not open to the public, but you can ask to follow me and I'll, I, I just, I'm not brave enough yet to say, okay, everybody, whoever can follow me. I, I don't know. <laughs> I need to get over it and just do that, but I haven't yet. So right now I'm in the process. I have two posts. Mm, yes, two, one with just this and the, um, ori the original piece that I was going to use and then one with an update of what I've started on. So uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me there. I'll have it in the description box with all the links for these things that I'm talking about today. Um, so be patient with, with me while I move the all the things to the renewing stitches. Um, what else did I start? Oh, the other new start I had was the Stitcher's Prayer. And it's from this magazine. It's the premier issue of Cross Country Stitching. And this was 1988. Um, it doesn't have a month, just 1988 premiere. Yeah, sorry. Okay, premiere issue. <laughs> uh, um, and it's the Stitcher's Prayer. And it says, Lord, may each stitch be wrought with grace to bring thee honor, love, and praise. Amen. So this is the one I'm working on. And this will be another fill-in stitch. Oh, sorry. I hope you didn't see it. Okay. This will be another um, fill-in stitch. So I'm getting some of the foundations down. And I kind of got carried away and just started filling in just because. Uh, this is another quick dip of a 14 count. Um, Ada. Quick dip. And I've changed the colors um, from six to four. I'm just combining several here. It's going to, and I think I'm going to dip it again. After all this is done, I think I'm going to dip it in tea just to give it a little bit, uh, tone it down just a little bit. I did that with, hmm, one of the finishes from the first week or two floss tube. I can't remember which off the top of my head. Anyway, I'm going to tone it down, but I love it. It'll be a five by seven, I think, by the time it's done. Um, and it's fun. This didn't take long at all. I mean, it, it didn't take long at all. I really have enjoyed doing that. Um, and then I worked, so I did those. And then I worked on Plum Street. These are just current whips, not new starts, not mm, not close to a finish. Plum Street Heritage Sampler. And I stitched on it last night, just a little bit. Um, I got over to where the eagle's going to start. Very excited about it. This is on... Um, a piece of 40 count country mocha Newcastle linen um, and all the call for DMC colors except I'm using um, 3865 instead of 822 here's where I am it's still in the hoop because I'm still stitching on it and I tuck the current I tuck my current bobbin that I'm working on because I keep the needle loaded with the a thread. I keep the current color tucked in. So that's where I am. The eagle's here. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I wasn't giving any bad signs. I'm just pointing. Um, the eagle is here. I have the red on to do the uh, flower buds here and here. And I'm going to continue on over here. I'll fill in. I told you that uh, the way I like to stitch is to do uh, half cross all the way around on the borders, uh, especially for straight borders. Um, and every 10 stitches, just go ahead and complete the cross so I can count easily that way. The inside will be easy enough, so I will cross all the X's here. This is just 
where I was just working along and then I'll go back and finish it up and so this one won't stay that way this one will stay until the very end but the eagle will go here and then what goes up next what goes next then it's another quilting star and some flowers so I'll probably go across and I may drop down and do this house because I like houses just to get that inside going. So that's where I am there. 40 count, I already said that, right? 40 count country mocha, Newcastle linen. Yes, I think I did. And I've really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed this. I like the, um, it's not real tight. The holes aren't real tight. So it's easy to see for me. And I use magnification and light. Um, so it's easy to see. I'm trying to ward off any kind of sweat. <laughs> I'm sorry, sparkling, uh, glistening. <laughs> oh. Okay, then the last one, the last stitch that I worked on was my Steelers helmet. Um, we watched football this weekend not with the desired outcomes for most of us, um, but it, they were good games. And I really enjoy any game, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, that's close. If it's a, if it's a runaway, it, it's not really interesting to me. Um, I, if it, to keep my attention, it has to be a little close. So anyway, I did not stitch this during the game. I stitched this, um, a little bit while the boys were at piano, um, but I did a good chunk yesterday at um, our stitching meetup. So this is from the book Cross Stitch by Nomis from 19, I don't remember, I keep forgetting, 1987 Nomis Yarns. And there's not a picture of the one I'm doing, but you will see this is the one I'm doing. <laughs> I got, well, it's sideways too. How about that? I got all this filled in and the side over here filled in. I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, face mask so I can continue back and forth and get the face mask in um, the next few times. Then this will be a breeze here. And then I'll backstitch at the end. So you'll love it. You'll love it. And I have not backstitched on the other one. It's still here. Where is it? Same. <laughs> all right. I think that is all of the stitching. Current stitching. Yes, and it's a mess. How did it get this way? <sighs> okay, plans. So, Plans. This past week, I wanted to start with um, several. There's a um, stitch along going several. I wanted to stitch, do the Quaker quilt? No. Quaker flag that I had somewhere. No. No, 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 no. Is it up here? Yes, Quaker flag from Vibsters. It's black and white, but this is the one I wanted to start. The fabric that I had, the piece of fabric that I had was a 40 count, but it was, I think it's a picture this plus and it's, is it picture this plus maybe? I don't remember, but the holes were super tight. And so I ordered a different piece of fabric that was bigger count and big enough to hold this. So I've got the, the colors pulled. I just am delayed starting in the start along. So D Sal, delayed start along. <laughs> so I'm going to stitch that, start that as soon as that comes in. And I was looking for um, a gift freebie. And I ran across um, a, a few that I wanted to do. Uh, the first one is that I haven't done yet. The first one is Peter's Day Out. It's from Lindy Stitches, and this is black and white. It's a cute rabbit with these little shirt and pants and 
jump in. So I want to do this one. Um, I'll link the freebie below. And then also I found a peacock. And I immediately thought of Patchy Pony because she's doing a peacock sale. So this is from Kitty and Me Designs. And it's going to, in color, it's beautiful. <laughs> but, you know, I don't use my color printer enough and my ink gets dry. So I, it, I have to buy new ink. So I just don't use it. I use the black and white. But that's it. Very excited to start that one. I'll link it also below. Um, 46 stitches by 62 stitches. So on a 14 count, it's three and a quarter by four and three eighths. So that'll be fun. If I can make it smaller, I have tiny hoops I could put it in. And give it as a gift. I think I'm gonna do this a couple of times. Uh, Peter's day out, I think I'm gonna do this a couple of times, one for my sister and one for my mom. And then this one, um, I can just give it as a, a hoop for my friend. Mm. I think that's the plan. Um, what else? I think that's it. Yes. Oh, plans. Okay, we're still in the plans portion. <laughs> um, real quick, the next whip go draws were. 3 and 24, and on my chart, it is um, Twin Peak Primitives and Little House. So, Little House, I pulled them all out, and I was going to just show you all of it, but now at like 36 minutes, I won't show you all of it. I'll do it another day. Um, Little House Needleworks. Um, I'm going to start this one. It is the uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic. This is what I'm going to start. I may put this one on the Not Another Sampler. Because I've been wanting to use it and I keep moving projects with it. But And I sing the song in my head. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is tramping out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Um, and as I, when I found this, I immediately, um, searched for, uh, one of the, um, armed services choir singing this. Oh, oh, so good because it's in my head. Um, the other one is Twin Peak and I was looking, I found my freebie. I know you've seen this one. Um, if you haven't, I'll link it below, uh, Little Christmas House. Sorry, my ink was running out there. You know, you got to shake it <laughs> and let it go. But then I also have Stitcher Soul Journey. And my friend is letting me this, borrow this. So I'm probably going to stitch this one. Mm. It says, mend thy soul with needle and threads. Yep. And then I have a couple that I purchased, um, but I'm not really feeling it right now. Maybe Oak Tree Lane. Maybe I've seen that one. It's smaller, but I think I'm going to go with um, the Stitcher's Soul Journey because then I can get that back to her. That's probably the better thing to do. So those are my plans for that. Whip Go. I have. I'm going to. One uh, sweet commenter said that she enjoyed the flip throughs, and I've had several say that, but she has several of the For the Love of Cross Stitch. And I thought, yes, I'll do that one next. So, I, or several of them. Um, so, I think I'm going to flip through, excuse me, this one next For the Love of Cross Stitch, 1991, July, July of 91. I'm going to do that next. And the reason why I say this because there's something in here that I want to stitch. Where is it? Did not flag it. Mm. Yeah, here it is. Let me see. Mm. Okay, maybe that'll cover that enough. I don't. I guess I'm in a patriotic. 
free my mind. American is blueberry pie, and it's got a blueberry pie recipe. I think I'm going to do that. And I don't know how to finish it, but some little wooden something. Or maybe just put it in my dough bowl. I don't know. And if it goes fast, I may make three of them and give them as gifts. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway. So I want to stitch that. Oh. Yes. And this one. Mm. Okay. It says... Uh, I don't know if I can read it without crying, so I will read it whenever I flip through it. It's called Welcome Friend. Yes, yes, yes. So, I think that's going to be the flip through for this week. I'll get that done, and then I think I'll stitch. <laughs> I think I'll stitch. So, that is all I have for today. Um, let me know what you're stitching on. You know, I was, I was um, thinking of how to, like, wrap things up because I feel like I don't have a set um, thing yet. I kept thinking of um, oh, Walkie Tour from the SNL skit and how the things, you know, she would say, let me give you a topic, let me give you a topic. Um, Dr. Pepper was neither a doctor nor a pepper, and then you discuss below. Um, I thought, well, that's fine. I don't know if I can come up with enough cross-stitch topics that are enough to discuss. So, um I guess, I don't know, I'll think of it, but uh, I just want to tell you that I really appreciate your comments, and I really enjoy interacting with you in the comments, so I think I'm going to say I'll see you in the comments, because I really think I'll see you in the comments. We can discuss there, discuss a topic. I don't know what, <laughs> but it'll be good to say hi, so hi and bye. Um, I will see you in the comments. I um, am making an effort to comment more on the floss tubes I watch. I am, I, I know y'all are the same, but you're, that the floss tube list is long and lovely. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy watching. I really enjoy interacting with those who are watching me and I really appreciate you guys. So I'll see you in the comments. Bye y'all.